Hello Leo, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I am here to do your love reading for the month of March 2024. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a positive comment down below. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you check out my other channel, The Kitchen Witch Supernatural Cooking and Tarot Show, if you're into food. Um... Let's see what else here. This is a general love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Keep an open mind. Not all of the messages are going to be for every single person out here. Um, and I am available for private readings. So all of my information is in the description box under the video. So we're going to see what's going on for you at this time in love and relationships. My Leos. Again, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. In your overall energy at this time, Leo, you have winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. Okay, things are changing. Uh, just to take a peek at the bottom is the minstrel. Let your intentions be known. Okay, what do you wish for? What do you want? Put it out in the universe. Or you might have already done that and now you're seeing the changes taking place as a result of your, your prayers and intentions. Beautiful energy. Um, somebody may make their feelings known to you as well. I see some movement and travel for some of you. Music is important. Somebody may be a musician out here or your um, person is a musician or they love music. They're singing your praises. All right, off the bottom, you've got the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay, we'll see what that's about. It doesn't always have to be bad. And then you've got the Seven of Cups. So you've gone through some sort of a challenge here. We've got two sevens out on the table. And then you've got Temperance. And you've got the Two of Wands. There's your change. And then here is Justice. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius. Um... Okay, you've been treated unfairly, Leo. Um, this could involve a marriage. Um, you might be deciding, like you've been as patient as you can. Um, there's been some lying, cheating, deceit. Somebody could be, you know, into drugs and alcohol. They... You've encouraged them to go to rehab. Rehab isn't working, and now you're going to part ways. That's for someone out here. Um, I feel like you've had really good intentions, and despite the good intentions, it didn't work out. For those of you who are who have a choice to make, or you've you're not sure which direction to go. You're ready for some sort of a change in your life here. It doesn't necessarily have to do with love or partnership. It could, you know, be be with changing partners, um, you know, like in a, in a business situation, like changing business partners, taking on a business partner. There could be some legal contracts or documents some of you could be switching jobs or careers. You're coming up with some sort of a strategy or a plan. Um, you've been very patient. You're, you know, kind of looking at all of the possibilities and you know, like you, you've got to make the right choice. But the two of wands is here and temperance is here and justice is here. This shows me you are making the right decision. It might not feel like it. There might be some second guessing here. But it, this is also about doing what you need to do, okay? You don't care what it takes, what you got to do to be successful here. If you have to move, if you need to leave somebody, 
if you need to break up with somebody. But coming up with some sort of a plan because things need to change. You've been very patient, but you've already made your decision here because the two of wands is here. And this is when you're at a crossroads and you've already made your decision. You've already started taking those first steps in a new direction. You've been lied to before. You've been treated unfairly. People were messing with your head, playing with your emotions, treated you like you were an option. And you've had nothing but good intentions. Let's get another deck. We're going to clarify the majors here. Let's clarify winds of change. For Leo, what's this change about? Take your time if you need to. Don't make, don't rush into anything. But I think you've already come up with a plan of attack and strategy here, and you're gonna you're gonna be successful. You don't care what you have to do. You've got the Ten of Diamonds. Okay, so you're thinking long-term. You want a long-term, successful, stable um, relationship, home, job. Okay. There's going to be a change here. Some Something in your physical environment is changing. And it's, it's going to serve you in the long-term. Okay, why is temperance here? Here's your new beginning. You've got the joker, which is like the fool. Um, you've been patient with some jokers out here. You've dealt with some people that didn't have the best of intentions, but you're ready for a fresh start here. Okay, it's taken a while, but you're slowly... You know, putting one foot in front of the other. You're taking you taking just, you know, what you need here. Why is the Joker here with temperance? Four of hearts. Yeah, it's like you're not settling. You know, you're you're emotionally stable. You've not been happy with the options. Someone, again, may have treated you like an option or rejected your offer. You might reject someone else's offer because you think they're not serious. Um, somebody's looking at a gift here. Now, this gift, you might accept this gift um, because it's going to take you in a new direction. It's going to help you start your life all over or this this is a brand new relationship and you've been very patient when it comes to love and romance because it's like you're not going to settle. It's like you, you've you learned how to be very discerning. Um, things are starting to come together here for you. And this is some sort of special offer that's put together just for you. It's an answer to your prayers, and it's going to lead you to long-term stability, success, a relationship. And I think you're leaving your emotions out of it. You're trying to be very logical and strategic and analytical here. Why is justice here? You've got the Eight of Clubs. So things are going to take off quickly. Once the decision's been made, um, things are going to take off very quickly. This is success in love and in business. It could involve some travel, but this is about, you know, successfully getting to where you're going, um, ending up where you're supposed to be. Um, something's been going on within the last eight weeks or coming up within the next eight weeks for some of you and it's like I said you've been very very patient 
and uh, you've got a lot of options in front of you and you're going to make the right one. You're going to you're going to try, you know, try to get outside of your comfort zone and try something a little bit different. Um, but I think it's going to end up good. It's going to take you in a different direction here, whatever this is. And then on the bottom, just to take a peek, is the Eight of Spades. So you were stuck. You felt trapped. You felt trapped by the Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups energy. Kind of stuck. But like I said, things are slowly moving in the right direction. Could have been four months since you've heard anything or or something from this person. Now all of a sudden they, they come around. Hopefully it's not too late. They said, but you, you'll make the right decision, whatever this is. Justice is here. It's going to be the right thing. And so is temperance. All right. Let's get some advice from Spirit, and then I'll get some love cards for you. That death will come. Mortal, finite, fragile. So it's like, you know, you're trying to make the best of things. You know, life is short. It's too short to be stuck in Seven of Swords, Eight of Spades, Seven of Cups energy. Okay? You're thinking long term. It's like you want to be able to retire comfortably. You want to be in a committed relationship. Okay? Somebody's daydreaming of all the possibilities here. But also, you know, it looks like you're taking action here and coming up with some sort of a plan being very creative all right let's uh get some messages from my very own soiree magique oracle this is available for purchase if you're interested just send me an email Love messages for Leo, please, Spirit. Innocent. Okay, that's this fool energy, very naive. You know, I feel like you've had really good intentions. You were innocent. If somebody, you know, mistreated you, lied to you, you know, or accused you of stuff, you're innocent. And karmic justice will be served here. But this is also something brand new that's about to start. Could, children could be involved as well. You've got fascination. Somebody is admiring you. They're fascinated with you. You're very interesting. Okay, they have this like child, sense of like childlike wonder. Or you may have a sense of childlike wonder. And then rendezvous. Someone might want to hook up, sneak, sneak away with you, take you somewhere, meet up with you in private. Spend some time alone with you. And then independent. Okay, it's like you you like to do your own thing. You don't like to be tied down. You don't like to be told what to do. Um, somebody sees you as strong, independent, capable. This is like that Nine of Pentacles, um, Queen of Pentacles type of energy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Somebody is very single and ready to mingle. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you at this time. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.